Well, welcome, folks, and welcome to an ex terror adventure. Look, I got grandma out. No, no, that's Matt over there. I said grandma. Uh, as you can see, today I'm going to be using the old ex terror 70, my old, old baby, or the grandma of the good old ex terror pro, which Matt's having a go with today. Say hi, Matt. Hello, Matt. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Matt's using the X-Terra Pro today. Going to give that a go. He's just been using uh, the old one for a bit. He's already had a nice coin. Uh, but I'll slip everything into the video later. Right, let's get started. Well, we've already got started. We're shooting this uh, intro halfway through the bloody day. Um, right, get on with it. See what else we can find. See you in a bit, folks. Oh, here's my first signal. Not sure we got a pound to spendy. Ooh, bit of spendy. It's a bit blackened, but uh, as you can see, it just sat there on the surface, that was. No digging for that one. Thank you very much. Oh, here's Matt's first find with the uh, the old X Terra 7 Tef. You want to go through there, mate? Because it's kind of see yeah. a bit of green just there. Yeah. Go on, then. What have you got? Oh, it is. Pull it out, mate. Oh! Have you got coinage? I think I've got coinage. It's a nice impression. Yes. Toasty, but... It's not really a toaster. We've got a 1914, people. It's a, it's a penny. And it looks oh, like nice. we've got George V. Yeah. Oh, so, lush. Nice. Nice George V. I always say that. When I come out, I don't care what I find, as long as I find a coin of any denomination, I'm happy. That's cool. Right, let's get on with it. Find some more. Let's find these silvers. Let's I don't go. think we're going to beat the last adventure with the gold, are we? <laughs> Oh, folks, looks like I just got a nice harness ring, turret ring, not turret. Why do I keep saying turret ring? It's not a turret ring. It's like one of them harness loops. Dorset button. Celtic ring money. <laughs> it's not. It, honestly, it's not. If it is, I told you I'm a rich man, but yeah, it's one of them lovely loop things. Looks like one of a, quite an oldish one. Quite flat, actually. Definitely is one, though. That's nice. Lovely, riggy thing. I oh, don't know what Matt's got over there at the minute. It's probably a hand grenade uh, base, if I'm honest. hope it's not a hand grenade. If you suddenly see him explode, then. But I've just pulled out a uh, really thin little... Looks like it could have been a spoon handle or something. Um, yeah, sorry, the light's a bit... Uh... It was quite old, though. Just really thin... Hmm, let's find something better. Oh, like I say, I really don't think we're going to beat the last episode, folks. It'd be bloody nice if we did. I hope Matt doesn't blow up. Yes, people, it's time for your favourite game, What's in the Claw? So what do you reckon today, then, Focarillos? Uh, to be truthful, where we are, I've got a funny feeling it's going to be shrapnel. I can't see any signs poking out at the minute. Let's crack it. It's not there, still in there. What's it gonna be? Like I say, my money's on shrapnel. Oh, well, well people, looks like we got a coin. We got the old thrapney bit. It's a bit thrapney bit, but lovely impression of the uh, the portcullis there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful portcullis on that side, look. What would have originally protected the entrance of a uh, a fort or a castle. Yeah, the old uh, threepence. But it's going to be a yeah Queen Elizabeth II. There she is. Look, you just make her out probably. Light's really weird today. I'm struggling to get it right. As you can see, Queen Elizabeth the uh, second. Try and get her in the light. I can't see that when I put it in the light. So I have to keep it in the dark. Sorry, folks. So on the video, Skulls, Silvers and Spills, I found one of these. Candle snuffer. Well, the end of a candle snuffer. And I'm down in near enough the same area and I've just pulled out a second one. What was going on down here? Why is the two candle snuffers so close together? What's going on? Witch's hat look, lovely. Little witch. <laughs> yeah, top of a candle snuffer that. 
Beautiful thing. Another thing for the collection. Nice. Right, so I've just walked away from Matt. Matt, what did I say to you? Silver. Silver coin, yeah. or when I was starting to dig it, what was the other thing I said it could be? Ali. Ali, yeah. Yeah, right. So, check this out. It is actually a thing of beauty. I don't know if you can see that, but it actually says MG. Something to do with, I think, the MG car. And it is, Ali. Beautiful thing. I don't know why, but I think this is some kind of badge or medallion. Because look at the back. Yeah, it's got the hook for it. The back so, seems to have that uh, um, thatch pattern. I don't know if you can see it. Obviously, we clean everything up when we get back. I get sick of saying that, you know. Um, yeah, it's aluminium, but that's, that's lovely. Look, little MG badge. That is nice. All right, that. That's the thing. We like things are better than nothings. Hey! Now, next up, little tiny half penny. Yet again. It's uh, another Queen Elizabeth II. It's not very easy to see, but she's on there, yeah. A little tiny half penny. Oh, get on with it. Well, as we're in Shrapland today, my first uh, find with the old uh, Xterra, Pro, Xterra 70. Nearly said Xterra Pro then. And grenade top. Bloody good signal though. Uh, find some better stuff. So I've just got my first coin with the old Xterra. Had it down there, had it in a clod, popped it out. Should have filmed the clod, really. Look what we got. A 1931. That's the old three pence, look. So that'll be a, is that? Good old George V, look. Uh, it's 1931. I don't think that's pure silver, is it? I can't remember. Um, got to look up the dates again, remind myself. It's been that long since I checked. But yeah, lovely little silver there. Well, could be after it. I can't remember. We'll find out later. I'll make sure to find out by the end. Show and tell. All that. But oh, it's lovely. Beautiful little three pence with the old, uh, the old oak nuts on it. <laughs> Sorry, Scottish detectorist. <laughs> yeah, acorns, that's it, acorns, not oak nuts. <laughs> yes, people, it's time for your favourite game, What's in the Clod? So we got another one. What do you reckon it's going to be? Um, to be truthful, it's coming up. There's a solid 36, which is normally a can, to be honest, but um, there's something in there. What do you reckon it's going to be? Oh, 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 be careful. Be careful, because you might see it. Still in there. Let's crack it. Let's find out what it is. Take it too long with all this. Right there. Here we go. Let's have a look at what we could have won today. I think it's going to be... It's a freaking penny. Why is it? Why is it? I always do this, and it always turns out to be a modern freaking penny. Sorry, folks. All that time wasted. <laughs> well, Matt's just got a ring thing. Uh, I won't say this one's Celtic ring, one. Makes me wonder if these are actually the um, the loops off the pins for the hand grenades. No, because they would have something attached to it. That's just too perfect round and smooth all the way around it. That's Matt, why I thought it was a washer. Right. Matt knows he's a uh, hand grenades and bit because he does yeah. a bit of the old World War II no, reenactment. On the end of it, it has like a little double that. It to the pin. But yeah, another ring thing. X Terra Pro performing as usual. Good girl. All right, on to the next one. Good signal. And it's one for you, button lovers. Look at that. It's got a nice little uh, uh, crest shield on. Just a shield on it, and then there's a crown. It's like there's uh, three little balls at the top of the shield. We'll clean it up when we get back. That's per usual. Uh, yeah, nice one. Button lover special. Oh, look at that. It's lovely. Oh, give it a kiss. <laughs> well, I ain't worked out what this is yet, but it's highly decorated. It's actually beautiful, whatever it is. Uh, makes me wonder if it's an old oil lamp or what it is. Is oh. it a decoration on that, mate? Yeah. Right. Oil lamp, maybe. Don't know what it is, but thing of beauty there. Get it home, clean it up, try and flatten it out. Let's see if I can't do That's something. That's nice, though. It's a nice little find. It's beautiful. Little? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's, it's, it's a bit bigger than a little. Oh. Run me medium. That's what she let's, said. Let's say medium. Let's say medium, fine. <laughs> yeah, don't know what that could be. Get it back, clean it up. Something tells me it's possibly bottom of an oil lamp or something like that. Unknown. Beautiful thing, though. Pretty. On to the next. Well, that's some unusual fragments of uh, whatever. <laughs> I know it's not, but it almost looks like the uh, the cross guard off the sword, the uh, blade to come through here. But I don't think it is. <laughs> it's too thin for one thing. I uh, don't know. Unusual. It's took me a while to dig out all them fragments, but yeah. Uh, mm, stick it in this pouch. We'll have a look at it when we get home. Uh, I just pulled out a little fragment of summit. Summit bronze, bronzy copper. Um, been silvered on this side, look. Really thin. It has got, along this flat edge, there's some little holes. There's one just here in this corner covered in a bit of mud. One just there. I feel like, oh God, I feel like I've seen something like this before. And it's old. Unknown, weird bit of unknown. Well, not far from the end. I've just popped what I thought was going to be another Mills grenade cap, if I'm honest. But it's not. It's a great big George III Cartwheel Penny. Uh, 1797. Which is the normal date of these Cartwheel Pennies, for some reason. Um, yeah. Big old boy, look. Lovely impressions. Impression! Uh, yeah. Mmm, look at that. Thickness of that. It's a good old thick coin there. Excellent. What's up? Had enough? <laughs> but dug a hole to China. Yeah. Lost the signal. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh that's why he lost his signal, is it? <laughs> Alright, me and Matt are just playing a game. We're gonna play. Is it a 10p or is it a two shilling? <laughs> Both wrongs, freaking penny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so another penny. It's probably going to be the last one, actually. It's a bit toast. I can't actually make out who's on it. Um, uh, Give it a rub. It's a rub. Uh, looks like we've got another George V by the looks of it. Another George V penny. Coinage. Nice. See if we get out before we leave, but very close to it now. Probably see you all at show and tell, forget nothing else. All right, see you in a minute. Well... <laughs> Finally, we got two shilling this time. Um, Queen Elizabeth II, nice signal. Uh, as you can see, I'm back on the Xterra Pro. Well, we're walking back now. This should be the last hole, yeah. I hope. Well, welcome back, folks. And it's actually a few hours later. Um, Matt's had to go home. Thanks, Matt. Nice of you to join me again. Uh, Matt's helped me out low end in the uh, last couple of months. Big thank you for that, dude. Um, yeah, anyway, better have a look at what we found today. Weren't all brilliant, but what do you expect from Shrapland? Um, nice to get out with the old grandma. <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean the old ex-Terra 70. Right, let's have a look at what we got then. Let's see what's down here and have a look at Matt's stuff as well. Let's go. So I've managed to fluff up the sound on Matt's bit. Um, yeah, let's have a look at some of Matt's bits and bobs. We've got the finial off a of mortar. Uh, oh, just noticed some parrot poop on the back of my hand. Uh, yeah, forgot about that. Um, yeah, finial off a of mortar. Um, Mills top. Uh, a side off a of Mills. There's a little plug off the side of a Mills grenade. Another piece of mortar. That is a. Now, I'm not too sure if that's a 30 or a 50 cal, but look at that whacking great uh, shell. I'm not too sure if these are the ones that used to set the mortars off. Um, if you know, then, um, yeah, comment below. Uh, ain't got a clue about them. Big shell, though. Uh, let me just get rid of the parrot turd. Sorry. Right, better things. Um, yeah, ringy thing. I'm not too sure what it is. Uh, it's a bit more modern than my one. It's a ringy thing. We like ringy things. Um, move on. Single penny. Well, 
that was stuck to the front of his spade. He couldn't find it half an hour looking for it. And the lovely George V, and that's a 1917 penny. It's a bit toasty green, but at least you can still see what's there, eh? Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's just a bit of shrapnel off. Uh, hang on, eh? Right, anyway, let's move on to my bits. See you in a minute. So let's do my collection of tat and that for the day. Um, starting off with, as usual, shrapnel bits and bobs like that that have come from, um, yeah, shrapland. Uh, the usual. You know what that is, don't you? Yeah, you've all seen one. Mills, grenade, base, plug. Um, probably the top off the grenades. This little thing screwed into the side of the grenades. There's an old can, and the main thing that we were digging today was actually the old ring pull. Well, they are actually old ring pulls. Look, the old beaver tails. Um, yeah, move on. Well, that thing, I've come to the conclusion it's probably just something like a, a latch fitting or something like that. So, yeah, yet again, rubbish. Got a bit of the old MG. Not the car, just probably one of the... Uh, key rings off uh, whoever had the keys but yeah aluminum aluminium that's that uh, weaving type uh, cross hatch bloody pattern I was on about earlier uh, move on yet again well beautiful huge bit of um, copper don't know what it was off probably an oil lamp or something like that Pewter spoon, uh, the pewter spoon, it's not pewter, it's really thin copper. No idea on the age of that. Mm. Let's move on. Ringy thing, got a ringy thing, nice ringy thing. This is beautiful, old one, nice and flat. Nice thick one, so yeah, like I said, probably harness rings or dorset buttons or something. Still don't know what they are. I don't think anybody out there truly knows what they are. That's why I always call them Celtic Room Money, because some people still think they are. They're not. They're just not. Uh, move on again. Coins. Let's start with some coins. Well, that's all Elizabeth II, as modern, as oldish, as coins that... Yeah, we ain't bothered about. Move on again. Nicer coins. Actually, tell you what, we've not been there. Well, we didn't get to Butter Moon again. But there is a nice one for you, button lovers. And you can actually read it. It just say Royal Army Ordnance Corps. Um, little shield there. Uh, I believe those three... Balls up there are actually cannonballs for these cannons down here. And then there's the uh, crown above it for the royal. But that is an absolute beauty. Love that one. Um, would have been a shiner once, but lost its uh, lost its loop and that. And it's probably popped from its back, but that's still a lovely, lovely button. Um, move on. Where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah, well, don't know what it is. It's an odd thing. You can almost see some little lines coming down here like it was a, a little scallop type thing. I feel like I should know what this is, but uh, I don't... I can't remember what it is. Oh. If you know, comment below. Uh, not that anybody does, but... <laughs> spout thing. Ain't got a clue what it is. Found a spout thing last time. This seems to be like coppery bronze stuff. Could be a little spout. Ain't too sure what it is. Another oddity. Uh, move on. Better coins. Well, as they're only produced for one year, we can tell when it's a cartwheel penny, it's going to be 1797. So, yeah, a cartwheel penny, George III. It's a big, stocky coin. It's not as big as the two pence. If you ever find one of them, they're mahoosive. Um, yeah. George the Sixth penny. Uh, can't really see a date on that. It's uh, a little bit too worn. Um, see it through my phone. No, 
that's just a bit too worn. Not too sure. And the best find of the day, which isn't full silver, it's only the 50% um, silver one. Yeah, but still, nice George the uh, Fifth. Really, really beautiful coin. Not much damage to it, not much um, scratching. and Yeah, really good condition. A little three pence, as you can see. Uh, 1931. With the little oat nuts. <laughs> Sorry, Scottish detectorist. <laughs> yes, the acorns. We know, we know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, got this weird bit of flint, but there's no bop. Can't see a bop. There is some... Uh, could just be... Uh, Trample damage ain't too short, but there is some weird um, mm, Yeah, all right, we'll leave it there. So thanks for joining us on this adventure folks. It was uh, Not the best one, but what do you expect digging around in shrapland? Um, yeah, hello to new subscribers. Hello to old subscribers. Hello to anybody that's just watching this uh, anyway, carry on liking, carry on subscribing, carry on hitting the bell thing. Ding! Um, that's about it. That's about it. It's, it's, it's the, the gold, you see. You can't really beat it after the gold, so everything's going to be until we find gold again. I want to give up. <laughs> Till the next one, folks. Tatty bye. Thanks for coming.